morning guys and welcome to another vlog today i'm going to be recording a full day of eating for you on a training day i've just got an upper session today so it's more like just a top up of my push and pull sessions nothing too interesting but Anyway, I wanted just to just to vlog a full day of, of my current food at the moment, so I'm going to get into that for you. I'll give you a little bit of a prep update later as well. Um, currently just under 14 weeks out now, so things are getting exciting. Things are moving. So stay tuned and uh, let's do this. Okay guys, and here is meal number one on training day, which you saw in my last vlog, but it has changed slightly since then. There is now no chicken in this. Um, it's just one whole egg, so one less egg, and uh, 200 grams of egg whites instead. Um, because there's no chicken in it now, I have actually added some peppers in here just for a bit of flavor, and then coffee and water, and my supplements as usual. Um, some omega 3s, I have a probiotic here, a vitamin C, a digestive enzyme, a multivitamin, and a vitamin D3. So that is meal one, and I will see you for the next one. Okay, then, guys, now it's time for pre workout before we go to the gym. I've just been out and done a load of steps. Let me show you these. There we are. <laughs> 9,000 so only a few more of those to do anyway I don't know why this isn't focusing here we go so this is 50 grams of oats 100 grams of banana 20 grams of dark chocolate and 20 grams of protein from whey I've also put a little bit of this skinny syrup on here toasted marshmallow just it's quite sweet but it's really nice so oats is definitely my favorite meal of the day um, it's so funny when clients come to me and they're like, oh, I don't like oats, is there anything else I can have? I'm just like, what? I don't understand this language. <laughs> oats are just so nice, <laughs> if you know how to make them right. But anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this in the garden now before we go and train. Okay guys, you saw this in my last vlog, but I'm just going to show you now because I'm just getting ready to go to the gym, but I'm also putting my pre-workout here ready. I won't have this now, I'll have it when I get there, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm including everything in this vlog, so just some pump, just for my position today, and I'll see you in the next one. I've just pulled up to the gym, I'm just drinking my pre-workout, and again, we are not at my normal gym. <laughs> I will vlog where I actually go to my, my normal gym, but we've come to Premier Gym today just because they're open later. It's a bank holiday. My gym shuts at two. It's half one now, so we're just not going to make it, and we would like training a bit later in the afternoon anyway. So we're going to get going. Pre in and shout out Pit Stop Nutrition, which is where I get my pre-workout. Josh is uh, training with his training partner, he's got push, I've got upper, so it's just like a chest exercise, two back exercises, one shoulder exercise, and then some arms and stuff, so let's do it. And I'm back guys. <laughs> so I've just done my upper session for today and it was fine. It's not the most exciting session, I'm not gonna lie, but we get a good pump. And still obviously working just as hard in that session as I do in the others, but yeah, it's just not that exciting. <laughs> anyway, I'm just in this sort of like huge poses studio that they have here at Premier Gym. Well, I think they use it for classes actually. 
but I'm going to use it for posing <laughs> because my gym does not have this. I mean, look how cool. It's huge. So much space. Yeah, I have to just make do of just doing it in the gym in front of everybody at my own gym, which is not ideal. It gets you used to posing in front of people, but it's just not ideal space-wise and stuff like that. So this is going to be fun. So I'm just going to do this for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, Josh is still finishing up. And when I get home, I will show you my next meal, my post-workout meal. But I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of how prep has been going these last couple of weeks. Um, so to be honest, it was a bit slow. Scales really did stick for a while. And I even had a weight increase, even though we kept taking food out. Um, but I know exactly why. I had a bit of an illness, sort of like a cold, but it wasn't a full blown cold. It was just like, you know those colds where you get where you're just really bad for one day and then like the next day you wake up and you're almost like 90% better. I just had one of those. So I had that. So then I just felt really, really groggy and had a few rest days. So then my weight came down and I was all good. And then as you ladies all know, that bloody mother nature comes around and just screws everything up so then i had that my period which just wait it just goes all over the place it's just a write-off whenever i'm due on my period i won't lie and then i got a bit of an ear infection which wasn't again too bad i mean people were telling me how awful they are but i think i got on top of it quickly but what what did happen was i took some really strong painkillers now i don't usually take painkillers anyway paracetamol if that and rarely um so i took some painkillers and really messed up my digestion i'm not gonna lie um and i just felt so bloated and so watery um so again that just messed up my weight again but then this week's check-in the weight is settled everything's settled down and we seem to be in the flow so even though it was a bit crap, I wasn't worried because I did know the reasons why stuff wasn't moving and the weight increases and stuff. So, so yeah, it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm panicking because I mean, that, if that had happened last prep, yeah, I would have been panicking. I would have been thinking, oh my God, two weeks, no weight drop. What's going on? My weight's increasing. I would have been really stressed out about it. But I think once you've been through it once, um, you really just get to know your body so well. And I know if there's one thing off, <laughs> the scales are not going to be nice to me <laughs> so um it's fine so yeah things are moving now um i'm feeling a lot um smaller in myself anyway so i can just feel the weight coming off now um so yeah that's a bit of an update but so saturday will be 13 weeks out so it's currently monday um so i just can't believe how quickly time is going i don't know whether it's just i mean last prep obviously i worked in an office i'm still working at home now but whether that makes time go quicker i really don't know obviously my days used to be longer i'd have to get into the office for half seven whereas now i just have to start my work at half seven at home so i don't know whether it's that guys honestly i don't know but time just seems to be racing like if you were to tell me i've been prepping now for almost like seven eight weeks i just wouldn't believe you and then another thing as well is that Josh is doing this prep with me because he's prepping for shows as well towards the end of the year. So that may help as well because it's just we're in such a routine. Um, but who knows, but honestly, I just can't believe that it's already been this many weeks. I feel like that's what's panicking me, like how quick time's going. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get on with some posing now in this cool posing room so excited it's just like a stage i can actually like strut my stuff <laughs> Here we have post-workout. The goat of bodybuilding post-workout seems to be Cocoa Pops. <laughs> but 80 grams here and I'll have this with a little bit of almond milk 
and then I've got some chicken rice also but I'll show you that when I've made it but I I always eat these first um, before my chicken rice because I do, who likes soggy cereal let's be honest and here we have post workout pot two we have 80 grams of chicken under there somewhere I promise you <laughs> and 120 grams of rice and some veg and also some sweet chili this is really really spicy <laughs> or is it hot anyway yeah it's really nice but it's really hot but yeah these are great by the way guys these skinny sauces they're like zero well virtually zero the sauces are the syrups are zero these are virtually so you still have to be mindful with them don't go like dousing your food in it completely but um you know we're still still 14 weeks out at this stage so i'm allowing myself a bit of sauce on my meals <laughs> it's when i get to like probably a month out or so i will, I will probably have to cut back on everything my body is not one of those that can just get away with it <laughs> But anyway, here we go. I'm going to enjoy this and I will see you for the next meal. And here we have meal number four. Chicken, rice and greens. 150 grams of rice this time, 80 grams of chicken. And yeah, it does look like my last meal, but no, it's a different one. I'm also going to have a Pepsi Max cherry with this meal. So that is it, guys. And here we have it, guys. It is quarter past 10 and I've just made my last meal so I will show you now so I've also made Josh's last meal because I'm a good wife <laughs> but here we have 200 grams of zero fat Greek yogurt 100 grams of blueberries 15 grams of almond butter because almond butter is an elite nut butter <laughs> I actually love this because it's just like stronger tasting than peanut butter. I really, I really like that. Usually I have the crunchy one though. Josh picked up the wrong one. And also what I'm having is my Nighttime Essential Support Max Nero. And this mango flavour is so nice. I did try the blueberry flavour and it's okay, but it's just not as nice as the mango one. So I've just mixed that up with water and I'll have that before bed. And I'm also going to put some of this on my last meal as well. Chocolate fudge cake is just like chocolate really syrup, but that'll go on there. And that is us done for the day guys. So I will close this vlog out now, but that has been a full day of eating um, as we are now at 14 weeks out. <laughs> So I will obviously update this as we go on. This is training day two, so food is slightly higher than a rest day. It's a bit more interesting as well. Um, but yeah, bodybuilding is about eating for purpose, not just taste. So every meal, there's a reason for every meal, every macro, every calorie is considered. And even though I love all the food that I eat, as you can see, it's just about consistency with everything weighing out food, making sure supplements are, are on point. I'm also going to have a probiotic as well before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, four litres of water in today as well. Five meals. But that is it guys, that's a day of, of eating. I'm going to go to bed now, up early in the morning for a PT session. And of course, cardio, steps, and all that jazz. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.